It is not often that you find a governor publicly praising another. Quite often, when that happens, it is the usual backslapping within the same political party. But when the ecomium cuts across party lines, its genuineness becomes unquestionable. Such was the case in Bauchi. Recently, when Governor Mohamed Bago of Niger State heaped some deserved ecomiums on the state governor, Senator Bala Abdul Kader Mohammed, who he described as his mentor. The executive governor of uh, Bauchi State is my senior brother, my mentor. He has been so good to me, even while he was a minister, while I was still a small boy. And that uh, he gave me all the kind of encouragement that is needed, and today I'm a governor. And uh, I'm uh, taking his steps. If you thought he was just being diplomatic, listen to his reasons. He's one of the best governors in Nigeria, performing governors, irrespective of fact. He has done wonderfully very well in terms of uh, social development. I see a lot of roads and houses. And uh, the milestone is unprecedented. Bauchi State, you've been very lucky in terms of succession. Irrespective of party differences, your state plan, your agendas have been the same. The people, the people, the people. So I'm calling on the people of Bauchi State to continue to follow their leadership, to also persevere in terms of this hardship. For one, the two governors belong to different political parties. While Bago belongs to the All Progressive Congress, APC, Bala Mohammed is a member of the People's Democratic Party, the PDP. For another, not only is the PDP the main opposition to the APC-controlled federal government. In addition, Bala Mohammed is chairman of the PDP Governors Forum. That could create a situation of mutual suspicion between the two. Bagos Ecomiums was particularly sincere for the fact that it was made in the absence of Bala Muhammad. No psychophancy, no intimidation, no grandstanding. It was a class act instead of highlighting any differences between the two states. He elected to underscore the similarities between Bauchi and Niger states. That was statemanship at its best. Yes. Um, Niger State Government and Bochi State, they are, we are brothers and sisters. Niger is the brother, Bochi is the sister. We are created the same day and that uh, we share a lot of our uh, similarities. The Ecomiums also validate the position of Dr. Usman Bugaje, the unassuming yet highly principled technocrat, administrator, capacity builder and scholar. Speaking to True Vision Online Television in Bauchi, he attributed his frequent capacity building visits to the state to the recognition that Bala Muhammad stood out among his peers as the epitome of good governance qualities and who therefore deserved to be supported to become a role model. He has been very, very encouraging because what we have been looking for is a governor with a vision and who is ready to what they call put his money where his mouth is. Meaning, who is ready to walk the talk. And I found in the uh, current governor of Bochy State, uh, Senator Bala Mohammed, a person who is itching to get things done right. Whatever else you may have been before, for me today, is one of the few that I found who are prepared to. He is asking, what can we do to create development? What can we do to boost the capacity of the workforce so that they can understand their mandate as government, which is essentially development that will take care of the welfare of people. And I have been working with him on this with all the enthusiasm because I see that he's willing, he's prepared to walk the talk. And uh, I, I have seen the struggle he's making against you know, people with different perspectives 
whose idea of government is basically uh, how do we share the resources. I have seen the struggle and I am prepared to do what I can to support him, to help him to succeed. If we can get a model, it will help others to see what we have been talking about. But does Bala Muhammad deserve these accolades? Going by the investigation of True Vision Online Television, the answer is a resounding yes. In the nearly five years of his administration, Bauchi State has witnessed giant leaps in the provision of infrastructure, particularly roads, housing and urban renewal, and water. The same goes for the social sector, such as health and education. Not left out are people empowerment, particularly skill acquisition, youth and women development, agriculture and sports. His administration has also fared relatively well in the critical areas of security, with Bauchi being regarded as the safest state in the northeast zone of the country. In an era that is replete with trailblazing accomplishment, no account of Bala Muhammad's impressive record will be complete without mentioning the remodeled government house project. Design to literally provide all the accommodation need of the governor, the deputy governor and the government house staff. This project epitomizes Bala Muhammad's aggressive pursuit of urban renewal underguided by the goal of transforming Bauchi into a regional hub. The International Conference Center, component of the remodeled project, is expected to serve as a hub for business, academic, political and similar gatherings from all over the Northeast. In the past three years ago, we had this project. We came to the Executive Council and presented the project. And several commissioners there were asking, can you do this? Today, it has come to light. It is not surprising that these achievements have attracted recognitions and awards from several quarters. This includes the Rural Road Infrastructure Governor of the Year Award, presented to him by President Buhari in 2022 and the Governor of the Year Award by both the leadership and some publishing companies. Only last month, he received the New Telegraph Newspaper Governor of the Year Award in the health sector. Last December, the Nigerian Union of Journalists conferred on him its Milestone Award for being the Media Friendly Governor of the Year 2023. That award was based on the complete digitization of the state-owned media outfit under the umbrella of the Bochi Broadcasting Corporation. For effect, the award was presented by no less a person than Aremo Shegun Oshoba, two-time governor of Ogun State, former managing director of the Daily Times and former general secretary, as well as president of the newspaper Proprietors of Nigeria. If that award was not deserved, Oshoba, a renowned journalist and administrator, would not touch, let alone present it. I thank God that uh, the president, uh, true to his word, uh, has kept on to recognize our colleagues while they are, they are alive. The message of His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Bochi State, was to charge the, uh, the media to reposition itself and become the vanguard for the defense of democracy in Nigeria. He went down memory lane to say what the media had done during the colonial period, how our um, forefathers fought colonialism, and then he also traced the history, the role of media during the military dictatorship, how the media fought and made sure that democracy was brought into the country. Given the many democracy dividend being delivered under Bala Muhammad, my Bauchi project agenda in Bauchi State. Their expectation is that he will continue to receive accolades and recognitions such as the one delivered by the statesman like Governor Bago of Niger State. Scorecard The True Vision Online Television program that keeps an eye on the performance of public and private sector leaders wishes both Governor Bala Muhammad and Bago an outstanding success in Bauchi and Niger State, respectively. Do you have a story that qualifies for scorecard? 
For our Uncle Persons, Gabriel, 081-69-581315. Stella, 080-6057-3988. Olushegun, 081-04-60-3584. And Chioma, 90 Are on hand to discuss with you.